The wish tree. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said there is no such thing. His sister said there is no such thing. But Charles said, "What do you think, Bogan?" And Bogan thought, "Surely there was a such thing." So the next morning, Charles and Bogan set forth. His brother said, "Bring a map." His sister said, "Don't forget a compass." But Charles and Bogan were already well on their way into the woods. La di da di da da da. Sang Charles. Wish. Sang Bogan. They had the whole day ahead of them. The whole day to find a wish tree. Up, up to the top of a hill they climbed, and down, down to a forest a meter they slid. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. Charles and Bogan didn't see the wish tree, but they did see Squirrel. Who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts to his home? La di da di da da da. Sang Charles. Wish. Sang Bogan. Slow, slow through the snow they went, and hush, hush, past bears. Then they crept. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. They didn't see a wish tree anywhere, but they did see Beaver, who was busy gathering birch wood to bring to his lodge. La di da di da di da. Saint Charles wish. Saint Bogan. Slide, glide across the ice. They slipped past the few logs and around the bed. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. The wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find Fox, who was late getting berries to her burrow. La di da di da di da. Saint Charles. Wish sent Bogan. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them, less than half the day to find the wish tree. We may need to move a little faster, Bogan," said Charles. Charles and Bogan were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Bogan," Charles said, "I am tired. I can't search any longer." Shh. Whispered Bogan. When Charles awoke, it was snowing. It was snowing on Squirrel. It was snowing on Beaver. It was snowing on Fox. And it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles couldn't see through the falling snow. But then he said, "Oh, look! See, Bogan," said Charles. Just as we thought. And Bogan said, "Wish." Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around the branch of the wish tree. The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night feast with a hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. Charles and Bogan celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing brightly. La di da di da di da. Saint Charles. Wish sang Bogan, all the way home.